Hi Magnus, welcome back to my channel. Congratulations to all of you that made it to the last week of my 30 day challenge. If you clicked on this video, that means that you are interested or hopefully even participating in my 30 day challenge. The goal with this challenge is to shred as much fat as possible and gain as much muscle mass as possible in 30 days. You can start this challenge anytime you want. This is the fourth and last video of a four part series. Today we're going to talk about the progression in week four and what training arms looks like. Just know that if you want to look at the full program, including the nutrition, it's all in my app. So I assume that you made it through three weeks of the challenge and that you're now are ready to take on week four. By now you know exactly what this program is all about and week four is no different. The progression in week four is that I've put an extra set in on every first core exercise in every day. On day five, which is our optional day, we have high intensity interval training on the treadmill. If you don't have a treadmill, you can go outside and run instead. Or if you're in a gym, you can also do something more low impact, like an assault bike or elliptical or even a rower. It's the intensity and the time that's important. So stick to the same time and amount of intervals. As you know by now, nutrition is a huge part of this makeover or transformation. If you haven't calculated your macros yet, please go back to the first video in this series where you have a guide how to do that. This week, I want you to do everything you can to be flawless with your nutrition. Make sure that you get those four or five meals in every single day. Try to hit your macros, eat the right amount of fat, carbs, and protein. It's only one week left, so please make sure to stick to your diet. It will be worth it. Trust me, last week I showed you day three of week three, which was back. This week I'm gonna show you day four, week four, which is arms and outside shoulder. As always, add core and cardio to every single session. In today's workout, we're starting with a warm up on the assault bike for five minutes. Our second exercise is sprints for 90 seconds on the salt bike. Make sure to work as hard as you possibly can. We're repeating this for four sets. Our next exercise is a closed grip barbell bench press. You wanna lower your shoulders, keep your elbows tight towards your body, slowly lower the weight and explode on the way up. So we're doing 10 reps for five sets. Our next exercise is a barbell bicep curl. Before getting started here, make sure that you keep your feet shoulder width apart, slightly bend your knees, and then lower your shoulder and pull them back. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Try to be explosive when executing the curl and then and slow down on the way back down. We're doing 10 reps for four sets. Then we get into a circle set where we start with cable bicep curls with a straight bar. Then we're going straight into skull crushers with dumbbells and then into a lateral race. And you want to get 12 reps in on all three exercises. Rest for 60 seconds and do this for three sets. Our next exercise is a superset with two exercises. First, we have alternating bicep curl for 12 reps, and then we'll go straight into the cable tricep extension for 15 reps. Rest 60 seconds and do this for three rounds. And last but not least, we're doing a core superset. We're doing 20 reps of the rotational switchblade, and then we're going into a side plank for 30 reps. Rest 60 seconds, do this for four rounds. So there you have it, day four of week four. And as you can tell, it is a really hard session, especially that last core superset. That's a killer, that's it. This is the last week of the challenge and I'm so excited to see the progress that you've made and the results you guys have been getting after four weeks. So we got one more week to go. Let's keep it up. Let's sweat together. Let's support each other. Let's do this. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe press a like, I would appreciate it. And I'll see you next week.